Hey guys, Edie here, your virtual video producer. I'm coming in with another new feature from Fathom Notetaker. You guys know how much I love this tool. I use it for every single video call that I have, whether it's a consultation, it's a networking, it's any kind of video calls that I have because it is the greatest way for me to keep track of all of my calls and what I've said and promised on those calls. And it gives me really effective summaries so that I can send updates to the prospects that I speak to on my calls. Today, I'm coming in with their newest feature called Ask Fathom, and I'm not going to waste any more time talking about it. Let's get to it. As you know, whenever you have a video call on Zoom or on Google Meet or on Microsoft Teams, you will automatically be able to get a variety of different summaries depending on what you are talking to that person about. And they've added another sales one, this one called Bent, since the last video um, that I've done. But we're not talking about summaries. Now they have this tab over here called Ask Fathom. So when you get over here, it kind of sort of looks like ChatGPT. So it's a, a, a chat bot, if you will, where you're able to ask Fathom questions about your recording. So say, for example, in this instance, I know we talked, I, don't, I think this is from February. As you can see, this is from February of 2024. I don't know about you guys, but my memory is not the greatest. And I want, I know the gist of what we talked about, especially because this, the title gives me an idea. So we were talking about a potential collab, but I wasn't really, or I don't remember if we discussed any sort of topics that we could do collaborations on. So instead of either going through the summary or going through the transcript, I'm just going to come here to ask Fathom and I'm going to say, what are some of the topics we could collaborate on for presentations or workshops. And then we're going to ask it. It doesn't take a really long time. It takes some seconds. And so it says then, based on the discussion, here are some potential collaboration topics for pre presentations or workshops that Deborah and Edie could explore. And then it goes on. There are five different things. And then it summarizes. And then it gives me the time code for the various areas within that conversation where we spoke about certain things. So this is really, really helpful, especially if you can't really remember a specific thing. You know you talked on a particular topic, but you can't remember exactly what it is. And the thing with summaries is sometimes the summaries can give you, like for example, the key takeaways, or it might give you some topics that you talked about, but you might want to have some more in-depth information that may not be covered in this general um, summary. So having this, being able to ask the specific questions, and then I guess you could even follow up. Um, uh, let's see. I'm just asking a random question just to see what it does. Oh, uh, we did not set a specific timeline for when they could hold. Okay. It did not want to commit to a fall timeline yet. Deborah suggested. See, this actually gave even more information. Oh, wow. It gave a lot of information. Okay. So essentially, we didn't commit to a specific timeline. But I didn't remember that. So that's really, really good. Now, I love this. And you can get as, as um, detailed as you need to. However, what I have noticed is that if I just flick back and forth to summary, transcript, um, ask Fathom, it stays here. Unlike um, summary and uh, transcript, it does not give you the ability to copy. So you see that you can copy the summary and you can copy the transcript. You cannot copy the results that have been produced from Ask Fathom. So, and I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because 
they're giving you the time code um, here or what. So basically what I've done is I've just copied and pasted into a Google Doc. Because when you come out of it and then you go back in, it disappears. So it does not keep it in memory. So I already am reaching out to Fathom and saying, I love this wholeheartedly, but um, it, you know, you lose your work and there's no way to copy it. Now, obviously this is a new feature. They've just, just, just released it. Um, so I am sure that it's just a work in progress and they're probably going to tweak the hell out of it. Um, some more and probably one of the things that will come up here is the the ability to copy it But that's the only thing that's missing from it. So I'm loving ask fathom I think you guys should try it out too and I'll see ya on the other side Thanks again for watching and if you found this helpful Definitely subscribe and share this with anyone that you think it could help and I'll see you in the next video. Take care